Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin and Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid Hydrocraft mod. Alright, so I'm gonna put some stuff away here. Baseball bat, broken baseball bat, broken combat knife, machete, machete. Alright. Always so slow. Move things faster. Go over here. Fit a little bit more stuff in here. Nope, that's actually not what I want to do there. <laughs> it's not something that needs to go in there. Alright, where's my... This is my other area for electronics stuff. Getting full. More and more things. Batteries, metal she sheet, metal shite. Alright. Glue goes over here. Nope, not there. There. I have some rope. I thought I had some rope. No? My imagination. Phantom rope. Phantom limb syndrome, but for rope. Energy bar, chips, trail mix, mac and cheese, that's all full. Okay, that's full too. That is almost full. Hit the mac and cheese? No. So much food. It's a tough problem to have, I know. You know, we don't really need to be carrying all these beta blockers around. I'll keep one of them. So the dog biscuit we don't really need. There we go. Alright. So we just gotta kill the rest of today because it's you know, excessive exertion, tired, it's already seventeen hundred. So we'll go in here. Sorry, I thought I heard a zombie there for a second. Keep reading our finish reading our probably finish reading our trapping for beginners book, and then tomorrow we're going south. There's a campsite which I actually used as a base in a previous um previous game that I kind of forgot about that uh, Hydro reminded me of in a comment that I would like to go and visit. And it's 22. Alright. Let's put this book away. These other books that are over here. Alright. I'm going to eat a carrot or two just to get off of, yeah, off of the very hungry line there. Not be very hungry, caterpillar. We'll snooze it off. Yeah, 720, that's actually a relatively reasonable time to wake up in the morning. 89.31. We're trying, man. We're trying to get you not overweight anymore. I think somebody in the comments said 85 is actually the line, that I was just wrong. Alright, let's grab our, uh, let's grab our dog here. You come with me, boy. My little husky dog. Alright. Close the door. There we go. Did a weird little dance. Actually, I should probably bring an actual weapon, too, instead of just my knife. I mean, knives are okay, don't get me wrong, but uh, you can run into a big group, that's not exactly the best plan. You know what, I'm going to bring a survival axe. I feel like we haven't given survival axes a fair shake. Alright, so we need to go this way. Also, since we're going to have to run a little bit here, I'm going to pull our hunger back up into, like, a normal person range for today. We won't really lose. Won't lose weight today, but that's okay. We got work to do.
We've been in here, right? This is the place we've been. Surely, right? If Painkillers, you probably don't need those. The door is actually not open. Have we not actually been in here? Did we somehow not come down here earlier? Kind of looking like I didn't come down here. It's trail mix there. I should probably go back for that. Excuse me, ladies. I need to deal with these zombies before I do anything else. Hey, excuse me. Where are you going? Butter knife, okay. Rotten salmon, tin can. What you got for me? Gas can that's partially empty. We still don't know actually know how to work a uh, generator, so not gonna worry about that. But something to think about. Orange soda. More chips. Newspapers, magazines. Rotten ice cream. Some more sodi pop. Orange soda. What else you got? What else you got? What else you got? Extinguisher. I don't need that. Another gas can. You can combine those two gas cans into a full gas can. Let's actually do that. Probably not super important, considering we actually, you know, can't make them work at the moment, but. Pour into. So now we've got a mostly full one and an empty one. All right, so throw that there. What happens, this is a question I have here. If I equip this secondary, well, I mean, it doesn't matter. I equip this secondary, I put this here, that'll re remove the weight, yes. But what happens if I unequip the dog? Weight comes back, okay. Well, we're gonna equip the dog anyway, since we're using a one-handed weapon. We have to equip the dog like it's a weapon, like it's a bag, but the actual, um, idea is that um, the dog is actually like you know following us just a limitation of what uh, the how the system is set up masonry trowel let's do a welding tank sure why not Okay. Oh, there's more zombies around here than I thought. I should probably be a little bit more careful. All right. Um, south. That's where we need to go. So if we head a little bit this way, there should be a pathway that heads south. Right there. There it is. Now basically, we just follow this the whole way there. Let's eat another carrot. I don't know what they'll be there. There may or may not be anything useful, but I want, I'm interested enough to, to try and figure it out. Because it's like the one of the last things that's nearby that we haven't looted. Except for, apparently, the, the uh, gas station, which somehow I forgot about. There's the split, so we go to the left. May go back straight through the trees. <laughs> if you go straight through the trees, you pretty much get back where you came from, but it's easier, it's harder to miss the whole city than it is to accidentally miss this little campground.
Yeah, I used this as a as a safe house in a previous run through of the game, which was fine except for that there's no bed here. There's nothing to sleep on except for like hard benches and stuff. And so I uh, had problems with that. I was I ended up I was trying so hard to find the crafting materials to make a mattress, which turned out to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I actually ended up dying on one of those attempts. I was looking for a needle of all things. Just trying to see if any of the doors are unlocked before I open the... There we go. Let's fill out this and let's go ahead and fill that. Put the water bottle away. Radio. I guess I could take that apart. Yeah, I'm gonna go take that radio apart. Where are you, radio? This man's over. Electrical wire, some scraps. A little bit of aluminum. Screwdriver away again. Cool. Fuel canister, metal bar, metal tube. Take the barbed wire too. I'd kind of like to make a barbed wire weapon. Do a little little Negan action. <laughs> Buddy in the bathroom? No. Nothing to loot back there. Just making sure there's no zombies. Don't want to be surprised later. These don't have anything yet. They're just just decorative. Medium box with trash. Empty adhesive tape. Empty juice box. All right. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on. Welding hose. Metal box, cardboard box, empty IBC. Now that that is a hilarious image of the of a dog having that thing on its back. Box of bolts. I guess since we have a box cutter here, we can open that other box and see what's in there. Oh, not that one. Wasn't there a box? There's a box with trash. That's right. Which I think was here. Yes. I mean, there's no reason to open this. Actually, apparently I can't open this. Okay. Well, that solves that. I <laughs> thought I could open that. But this room is the potentially the real prize. Copper cabling. Lighter, I don't need that. And it's not. Okay. Well, they can't all be winners. We tried. Let's look around here, make sure that there's nothing I'm missing. Check that, right? Yes. Do a little wide circle. I think that's all the buildings, if memory serves. I don't think there's any more. Yeah, that's all the buildings. That road goes somewhere else. That goes back to the uh, the main road eventually. Hello, zombie body. I guess that's actually probably not a zombie body. That's a that's a old-fashioned dead human body. All right, so if we run here until we reach like the apex of the curve, like right here, and we go straight out. I'm trying to remember from my days using this as a safe house. Hopefully we don't run into a group of zombies in the woods. That very rarely happens, but when it does, it's bad news. Alright, come on. And there we go. Okay. We're good. Hello, folks. Don't mind me. 
So I, there's another place I'd kind of like to go that I think I can get there if I just go down this road here. But I suppose I should check that. Hang on one second, guys. Yeah, straight down this road. We'll be fine. As long as the zombies don't get us anyways. God, I hate getting exerted so fast because of the stupid overweight trait. As my, uh, one of my dumber moments was allowing myself to get overweight. This is a, uh, a good allegory for real life though, right? You know, it's easy to accidentally get overweight, so much harder to get rid of it after it's there. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm just gonna head. Just gonna run it until we get to the, the turn in the road, which I need. And then we'll stop and rest there. Try to get try to shake our exertion once we're there. Alright, so this is where I need to turn. Alright, so I just kinda wanna stand here maybe for a little bit. Let's fast forward. A little bit of time. See if we can shake this exertion a little bit. Time speed. We'll wait till 14. There we go. All right, we're at least at the moderate level. Oh, god damn it. That attack didn't work for some reason. Alright, let's just get this guy out. Compass Muldrow map. Well, we already have a Muldrow map. What we need is a West Point map. Alright, I'm gonna give these guys. Well, maybe we won't be going here. These are larger groups of zombies than I thought I was expecting to have here. Through four hordes all in one spot, huh? All right. Um, hmm. I guess the easiest thing to do is going to be to. Take them away from here. Is anybody else up this direction? I don't want to have to do this twice, so let's try to get everybody. Oh, this is a lot of zombies. I need me some beta blockers. Like, all of them. All of the beta blockers. This was unexpected. I was really not, not expecting this group, this large group of zombies. You know what I kind of want to do is just leave this area and come back with a shotgun. I think that might actually be what we do here. But I got to shake these I got to shake the groups of zombies here first. But it's been a long long time since the last time I had a good solid zombie shotgun rampage. So I'm thinking I'll just leave that group of zombies hanging out there. Go find myself. Go pick up a shotgun. Probably not this episode, but for next episode. Go get a shotgun and bring it back. I do know where I'm going, by the way. I'm not just running randomly into the woods.
Come on, push through. Should be getting back into the open space soon. There we go. Let's try not to bring any bring any more groups of zombies home with us, though. I would prefer not to do that. Actually, not sure I ever looted these houses. Oh no, that window's open. I definitely went in there. As I say, I'm not sure I looted them because of the zombie situation here originally, but I think we came back and took over care of them later. But yeah, we're gonna go home. That's my new plan. We're gonna go home. We're gonna wait till tomorrow. We're going to bring a sh take a shotgun with us and go deal with that. Uh, call it a healthy amount of zombies. Oh, bad swing. Oh, okay. Uh, survival axe can only hit one zombie at a time. That's an important lesson to learn. Too exerted for this. Alright, we're too exerted for this. I don't have a I don't think I have another knife on me, do I? The screwdriver. That'll do it. That'll work. Alright, and nothing. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Safely home. Open the door, damn it. There you go. Alright, we're home. Scarecrow, hanging out. Uh, I'll stop here. Tomorrow we get our shotgun together and we go on a little fun. Go have a little fun. So I'll see you guys later.